Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Terry. And we're Escaping the Empty Nest. Hey there, and welcome back. We're still on our big European tour, and we're entering Italy from Austria. So our first stop is the great city of Venice. Great travel videos on Venice are easy to find, but we wanted to share a few tips that we learned as first timers that most people don't talk about. First thing is, yes, you can drive into Venice. Our friend Eric was kind enough to drive us there from Vila, and the car wound up being much faster than the train. Parallel with the train tracks to go into the city is a road that you can take to one of the many parking garages on the northwest corner of the island. From there, you can take a Vaporetto, which is a water bus, into the city. Vaporettos were pretty expensive at €9.50 per person per ride. You can get a daily pass for €25, Euro, and they also offer multiple days. The good news is, the more days you buy, the cheaper the pass gets per day. The best thing is that they offer some iconic views of the city cheaper than the incredibly expensive water taxis or gondolas. It's a very flat, walkable city, except for the bridges, and the Vaporettos are very slow, so it's easy to walk just about everywhere on the island. Now, Venice has never been known as a city with great restaurants, but what we found walking around is they have some really nice sandwich shops that you can just grab and go. It made walking around the city really nice because we didn't have to spend time to sit at a uh, restaurant. One thing that was really cool near our hotel was a bunch of shops that had tons of masks in the window. It was amazing to get to see these authentic masks that were made in Venice, but they can cost a fortune. We were looking at one from our daughter as a souvenir, but since we weren't really serious shoppers and had no way of being sure it got safely home, we just took the time to look. It was fun anyway. Now, speaking of shopping, the whole island just reminded us of an outdoor mall. Cramped alleyways and streets were usually pretty crowded, with every street being lined with one store or restaurant after another. One of the things we really loved was the neighboring island called Murano. We spent a couple of hours there just walking around looking at beautiful glass blowing shops. The Vaporettos from Murano to Venice are very crowded, so make sure you plan accordingly if you're coming back from Murano at the end of the day. We picked up a blown glass white cat with a black tail because it reminded us of our cat that we have at home. Our visit to Murano was probably our favorite part of the whole trip to Venice. Now our biggest advice for the first time we're going to Venice is make sure you take advantage of the advanced skip the line tickets that are available for both St. Mark's Basilica and the Bell Tower, the Campanella. Both places had very long ticket lines, but because we purchased time tickets in advance, we just walked right in. And of course, we're suckers for a good view. So we enjoyed the tower and stayed up there quite a while taking in the 360 view. We went first thing in the morning and it wasn't very crowded at all. The Basilica was nice, but with the basic ticket price, you just walk through it in a horseshoe pattern and then you pop right back out to St. Mark's Square afterwards. The whole thing took us about 15 minutes to walk through it and we were completely done. So we actually really only spent 24 hours in Venice before we boarded our train to Naples. We saw what we wanted to see and that was enough for us. They say that you haven't been to Venice unless you've been lost in Venice. And yes, it really is easy to get lost. But there's always signs or points of interest or bridges that will help you to get back on track. The history of Venice and how it was built is really interesting, but it wasn't somewhere that we would choose to spend a week there. If Venice is your favorite place, tell us what your experience was about in the comments. We read and reply to every single comment. We certainly appreciate you being here. Thanks for watching and bye, bye for now. now.